BAMP end of things, folks, or the JAF end of things? From BAMP. All right, for those of you coming from BAMP or those of you going to BAMP, I should warn you that BAMP is not its actual real name. It is just an acronym that stands for Be Aware, Nothing for Free. And that's how they get you. And in BAMP or Jasper, you may have noticed that the ecology looks a little different, and that's because of something called ecoregions. So as you move upward in elevation, you start to encounter different things that can grow in different regions. And we've divided them into three ecoregions, the bottom most being the montane ecoregion, and that one goes from about the bottom of the mountains all the way up to 1,600 meters above sea level. And in the montane ecoregion, it is the warmest, it's the least windy, it's the most hospitable, so you'll see lots of diversity there. If you were in Jasper, I'm willing to bet you saw some elk, maybe. And if you were in Banff, I'm sure you saw lots of deer, maybe some moose, maybe some elk as well. And bears would be what you find in these zones as well. And then as you move up in elevation, you no longer see those leafy green trees and wildflowers quite as much. Up here, we only have evergreens. And if you look around, we are in the subalpine right now. So you won't see any of those leafy green trees, but you'll see some evergreens. You'll see some scrubby plants close to the bottom, and you'll see a few species of wildflower. And this is because we have a very short growing season. So not a whole lot can grow, and not a whole lot grows very big. So all these trees that you see are pretty short, pretty stubby, a little bit like me, but that's okay. And that is, again, because of that really short growing season. We only have 90 days in the entire year for all these plants to grow as much as they possibly can before the winter closes in again. So what this means is they can't get very big, but they can get very old. If you take a look to the right-hand side of the bus, you'll see a triangular forest tucked in between the two glaciers here. And this is called the ancient forest because most of those trees are between 200 and 800 years old. They are truly ancient. And if you keep looking up the side of the mountain, you will see they stop growing all together. And that's where you reach that third ecoregion, which is the alpine ecoregion. And the alpine ecoregion goes from about 2,200 meters all the way up to the tippy top of Everest. And in this region, it is far too cold, far too harsh, and far too unforgiving for anything to grow whatsoever. Much like my cold, dead heart. It's okay, folks. My parents hate that joke, too. And then as we are going, again, you'll be out in that alpine ecoregion today, so be sure you brought your snowsuits. I'm just kidding, it's not too bad. It's only about 10 degrees cooler out on the glacier than it is out here. At least it's not winter time out here where it can reach negative 55 degrees Celsius or negative 67 degrees Fahrenheit. And while you're out on the glacier, be sure to drink some of that glacier water. It's good for the soul and it also keeps you young. I'm actually 97 years old because I drink the glacier water every day. I look really good for my age. And also, as we approach the transfer base here, folks, make sure you have all of your personal belongings because I might not be the bus that picks you up after your adventure. And anything you leave behind at the end of the day becomes mine. And if you want it back, you can check eBay tomorrow morning.